In this video, we'll be discussing about cytokinase. The cytokinase are a family of small glycoproteins secreted by immune and non-immune cells for communication. We see the cytokinase drives activation of cells, proliferation of cells, and differentiation of cells. And there are some other functions attributed to cytokinase also, which we are not mentioning here. Moreover, if we see the source of cytokinase, we see in the diagram we have the lymphocytes, macrophages, granulocytes, mast cells, fibroblasts, and endothelial cells. From all these cells, we get the cytokine molecules. Now let's get to the cytokine signaling, where we are going to see how cells communicate via cytokine molecules. There are three ways of signaling. One is the autocrine signaling, second is the paracrine signaling, and third one is endocrine. In autocrine signaling, the cell shown in the diagram which is T helper cell secretes cytokinase and targets its own receptors as shown in the diagram. So we can say it's a kind of self-stimulation and self-targeting that is termed as autocrine signaling. The second one is paracrine signaling. Here in this diagram we have the activated T helper cell. We see it secretes cytokinase and the cells in near proximity receives these cytokinase secreted from T helper cell. So this way the signaling is mediated between the cells which are in close proximity. The third one is endocrine. Here in this diagram we have the cell. It secretes cytokinase into the blood circulation. And then these cytokine molecules travel away to the targeting site where cytokinase are received by the cell. Furthermore, if we see the cytokine properties, the first one is pileotropy, where one kind of cytokine molecule affects multiple cells. Here in the diagram, we have the activated T helper cell. It releases interleukin-4 cytokine. This interleukin-4 can target B cells, thymocytes, and mast cells, thus exhibiting the pileotropic effect. The second one is redundancy where multiple or different cytokine molecules have same effect on the same cells. Like we have the activated T helper cell secreting interleukin 2, 4 and 5. All the three interleukins can target B cells to mediate proliferation. Then the third one is synergy, where combined effect of two or more cytokine molecules on a target cell is more pronounced than the individual cytokinase. Like we can see in the diagram where the activated T helper cell segregating interleukin 4 and interleukin 5. Both these cytokines, that's interleukin 4 and interleukin 5, target the B cell and induces B cell for class switching to IgE antibodies. On the other hand, the T helper cell can also secrete interferon gamma, which antagonizes with interleukin 4 shown in the diagram thus blocks the class switching to IgE antibody induced by IL-4 and this mechanism of antagonizing is termed as antagonism by cytokinase. Then we have the last effect that's cascade effect where cytokinase act sequentially. Here in the diagram we have the T helper cells secreting interferon gamma. This interferon gamma then stimulates the macrophages to secrete interleukin-2 and then this interleukin-2 stimulates the T helper cells to secrete interferon gamma, TNF and interleukin-2 for mediating various functions. This way explains the cascade effect of cytokinase. Now let's get to the cytokine families. Like we have the six major classes of cytokinase. Interleukins, interferons, chemokinase, tumor necrosis factor, colony stimulating factors and TGF-beta. Let's see the interleukins first and their physiological effect. We have the interleukin-3, interleukin-7 and FLT3 ligand. These set of interleukins stimulate the hematopiosis. Then we have the interleukin-2, 4, 5, 12 and 13. These set of interleukins regulates the T and B cell cooperation. Second class is the interferons like type 1 as alpha, beta, and omega. These shows antiviral activity and antiproliferative effect. Furthermore, we have the type 2 interferons as interferon gamma, which responds to intracellular pathogens. 
Then we have the chemokinase and its subfamily includes alpha, beta, gamma and delta. The alpha regulates migration of granulocytes and lymphocytes. Beta regulates migration of monocytes. Gamma and delta regulates migration of lymphocytes. Now getting to tumor necrosis factors. In which we have the TNF alpha and TNF beta. Both mediate the pro-inflammatory pryogenic response. TNF alpha as well as TNF beta also activates non-specific immunity and also aids in apoptosis. Then the fifth family is the colony stimulating factors like GCSF, GMCSF, MCSF, erythropoietin and thromopoietin. All these factors stimulate the proliferation and maturation of myelite precursors. And finally we have the last one which is TGF beta which stimulates growth of fibroblasts and extracellular matrix production. And this TGF beta also leads to MMP's inhibition. So this is what cytokines are and their classification. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting my work on Patreon or YouTube and make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.